All right, time for another small update. Um, there are a bunch of kind of predictable states that have been called in the presidential election, and the swing states are really too close to call. So as you can see, um, the predictor for the upshot is uh, kind of swinging around in a state of continued uncertainty. That being said, um, there are a number of states where we have well over 75%, and in the case of Florida, about 83% of the vote has been counted. Um, our predictor machine, which again, this is not us calling a state, but it's based on the modeling that the upshot does, is at this point calling Florida for Donald Trump with a 64% um, confidence rate. That being said, let's look at the other states that we know are gonna be the battleground states tonight. North Carolina is being shown to suggest that Hillary Clinton is going to win in North Carolina. And again, we're not sure about these results. They but, are still predictive. But based on the data that we have, Virginia with about 30% of the data in, um, is showing for Hillary Clinton. Hil of course, Virginia went for Obama in the last two elections. Prior to that was a reliably Republican state. So we've seen a big demographic shift there. It looks like that's continuing for Hillary Clinton. Pennsylvania, which has been a reliable Democratic state, it was hoped to be seen as a bulwark for the Clinton campaign, is being forecasted at 70% that it's going to go for Hillary Clinton. That's a likelihood that the state electoral votes go to Hillary Clinton, not the percentage she's gonna win by. And Iowa, which is another battleground state, at this point looks like it's a little bit of a toss-up. We only have about, ten, oh, zero percent of the votes is in. So, so we really don't know much, but, it, but <laughs> based on what we, we know. polls and exit polls. If you can one. guess, I was an English major, not a math major. But <laughs> based on the predictive polling that we have from polls going into today, it looks like this state is a, is a toss-up. Now, what does this mean if, in fact, these were to play out the way that they were, that, that, were being, that are being predicted by the upshot right now. This would basically suggest that the race is again Hillary Clinton's to lose. If Hillary Clinton picks up those states that are trending right now towards the Democratic column and Donald Trump picks up Florida and Iowa, then Hillary Clinton needs to pick up Iowa or she needs to pick up Wisconsin or she needs to pick up Colorado or she needs to win Nevada. Donald Trump has to win all of those states in order to claim victory if those are the universe of states that we're looking at right now. So put differently, the race is still favoring Hillary Clinton, but we are seeing that in states like Florida, where the Clinton campaign was hoping to see an early and strong lead, that things are much closer than the Clinton campaign hoped, and it suggests that it's gonna be a long night. Right, and to turn, if we can go to laptop two for a second, to turn to the Senate results, um, we are, I think, able to call Florida for Marco Rubio. Um, and, uh, and Ohio for Rob Portman. Those are the states that we know about that were really up in the air. North Carolina and New Hampshire, we don't have enough information on yet, but they are kind of leaning Democratic based on the number of votes that have already been counted. The one other thing I'll mention is that in Ohio, Ohio of course is a battleground state. There was a lot of conjecture that Donald Trump might not do as well there, except that Rob Portman has put together a fantastic ground game to, to keep his Senate seat. So the fact that Portman is being called so early in the evening means that in fact his get out the vote effort was very effective, and that of course has implications for who's gonna win the state in the presidential race. And we're pretty sure that Portman is running significantly ahead of Trump in Ohio. That's what the folks on the ground are saying there, as much as eight points ahead. All right.